Well, Matt, you put the pads back on Absolutely. this afternoon. I guess, how did uh, things go out there? Went well. Uh, whole point is I want these guys to be challenged, put in their discomfort zone. It's the only way we're going to develop the ability to react and respond to adverse situations. That's the kind of stuff that exposes character. It doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily build it. So I'd rather they figure out how to handle a bigger, stronger player here while we're practicing than in the middle of a game <laughs> in San Antonio. Yeah, um, and it's having fun while you, while you do that too, isn't a it? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, you know, it's been a few years, eight I think, since <laughs> I've had the pads on, but you know, some things are just natural and you, you know, it's not that hard. You get in the weight room. Yeah. How's the body feeling? Feels good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I did my little warm up and a little stretch. I, don't, you know, I think I took an Advil this morning just preemptively mm -hmm. and made sure I drank lots of water. So uh, I might be in trouble later, but I'll be sure to do my stretches. Perfect. On the team note, uh, how's, how's, or how's everything looking? Unbelievable. Uh, I think we're seeing uh, the manifestation of our years of hard work. We're seeing guys get to that varsity level who have been with the program, who understand the expectations, who are familiar with the systems and the language and the coaches so we're not going back to that base level as much as we would have in previous years trying to teach kids everything from ground zero. We've got athletes who know what the deal is and we're able to polish and refine now and really work on some of those upper level high end elite skills that we really want to work with. One, two, three, switches.